Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and I'm back to Lit Code. In this video, we're going to learn a uh, one of the easiest way to find the locators even without inspecting the elements or minimal inspect. So it's a new feature in Playwright and it is introduced in the version called 1.27 and currently we have like 1.29. So now let's get started with the Playwright get by location. So here you can see like we have like um, there are actually a lot of ways to find the element with the help of player right like we have function called locator selector uh, even though selector is not recommended to use we are going to use most of the time locators or even sometimes we are going to make use of this get by which is very easy and apart from that also we have something like relative locators we'll talk about all the locators more in detail in our upcoming videos so it will be like three parts Today we are going to focus on this get by. So here if I go to the version 1.27 you can see like we have this uh, new API to write the locators. So let me give you the demo that will be very easier to understand. So I'm going to take this website called bookcart this particular site. So as usual we are uh, in the package called day 11 which is within the SRC test Java and here of course the usual code to launch the browser then i'm going to say like page dot navigate and here i'm going to pass my url and i'm going to click on this login so this login of course we know like this is a text if i go right click and inspect this is basically within the span tag and span is uh, the child of the button so even you can go with the button or the span anything is fine but here since we are going to use this locator like get by text uh, which is very very simple okay there are multiple ways to do it we can go with the uh, partial match exact match or even you can use something like pattern dot compile that means you can use the regular expressions but we are going to make it very simple so let's go and write the code so i'm going to say like paste dot get by uh, text and here I'm going to say like login, which is the text I can see there. And of course, I'm going to do the click action. Once I go to the login page here, I can say like I have a username and password. So these are basically looks like your placeholder. But if you go and inspect, uh, that is actually a label. Okay, so here you can select within the label. We have the span tag and then we have the username within the span. So basically it's like label is the parent span is the child so if you take the parent element eventually it's going to do the same action so here i can say like paste dot get by label this one and here i can pass my text that is username so make sure it's going to be exactly same or else you will end up with an exception and here i'm going to pass my username as a tony and similarly i can do the same for password so page dot get by label and the label is going to be password and dot type and here my password goes okay then here you can see like we have this login uh, so if i go and inspect this is login okay the text is login and here also we have the text as login so in this scenario if i use the text as login it will get confused not confused it will be very stable it will throw us an error saying like we have uh, we have done the strict mode violation i will tell you what is that strict mode violation in a bit okay before that so how to handle this in the sense like uh even though if i say like page dot get by text and the login dot click it will not work because we have like multiple locators so this is basically internally use the locator which always try to find the multiple values so for example if i have like use any multiple times it will find all the elements and it will give us like list of elements okay so the easy way to do is basically we can go with the xpath like uh, double slash button and then followed by text equal to login something like that or else we can go with some playwright inbuilt functions as well so here you can see like it's basically says like span text equal to login and the collection is two that means of course we have like two buttons to expert with the same locator so here you can select the first one and the second one so i can say like which 
element I have to find. So how to do it is very simple. I can say like page dot get by text or I can be very specific like I can say like get by role and here I can say like area uh, uh, role dot button. So these are basically like your enum values and then I can say like uh, I can pass here the new page dot get by role options and I can say like set name and the name is going to be login okay okay so even though we have both the text as login and both the elements are uh, button actually so in this case of course again we'll end up with an exception so if I try to do this and if I say like uh, dot click let me run and show you what will happen so right click run as the application Okay, so here you can see the login clicked we call the login page and here the username and the password has typed correctly and when it's going to trying to click on this button so there are duplicate elements so if i go to my console here you can see like it says like strict mode violation so this is very common in playwright uh, you will see this a lot of time because uh, whenever there is a same text or same locator like duplicate definitely will end up with the exception there are multiple ways to handle it as well so here if you see uh, it also giving us both the things so both has like error role of button and the class names are different i guess this has something and this has something but yeah you can go precisely with xpath as well but if i have to handle the same in playwright way then probably i know that i have only two uh, elements over there so i can say like either like if i want to interact with the first i can say like first or i can go with the last so that will make much sense even you can go with the nth nth in the sense like it's like based on the index so here i can say like nth of uh, zero or one or two something like that okay so i hope you got the idea but in my case i will go with the last because I know like there are only two uh, things are there. So if I go and run this now, let's see what happens. Okay, so it completed. That means of course, thing worked fine. Okay, so once we do the login, what we are going to do is we are going to search for a book. Okay, so if I go and see this particular element, I can see like I have a search book or author as a placeholder, right? So what can I do is I can simply copy the placeholder value and here I can say like page dot uh, get by placeholder and I can give the text and then I can say like dot type in the search options uh, make sure you always going to use the type function not the fill function here even though you use the fill function it's okay because this is like your static form and you are just going to type the data just going to fill the data but when you use but when we use the type function here it will type one by one so that we'll get some suggestions like this if i use fill it might not give us the uh, data okay so let's go and give some uh, book name maybe go and search for it right. copy and paste it here. okay so once I type this particular test data, it's going to give me uh, this options. I have to click on this, right? So if I go and right click and inspect. So here, basically this element is your mat option where it has a role like option. So we can specify the elements based on the role as well. So here I'm going to say like page dot get by role. and the role is going to be area role dot option okay and of course like if i have multiple options it will give us like many uh, suggestions so for example if i give like hp so here you can see like um, we have like multiple things so we have to very clear or else like it will like we have to very clear to click on which element or else it will again throw up throw the error like strict mode violation so here i'm just going to focus on the first locator always and i'm going to do the click action not clear definitely the click action 
okay so that's a very simple thing now let's say that we are going to navigate to this now there will be only one result as we expect and i want to click on this particular image so here i can see like we have a text called alt and here it's like book cover image so i'm going to copy that and here i'm going to say like page dot get by alt text and i'm going to pass the text and i'm going to do the click action again okay so that's a very simple thing now let me go and run this so if you see here we didn't write the xpath we didn't write the css locator we didn't copy it from the dom as well i mean of course the text we copied but not much right so here you can select we got this and execute it just to make sure that it clicked the book cover page so here the title ends with the book name right <coughs> so i'm just going to print that so page dot i can print that directly within my CSR statement okay let me run one more time okay so here you can select the boot um, book details slash 41 which is referring to this particular book i guess it's my code yeah this one is basically the 41 which is correct okay now here this placeholder even we can pass this like uh half text that should also work fine because by default it works based on the contents not the exact text but we have a options over there we can change as per our requirement as well so for example here uh here i can pass like new page get by placeholder options and i can set like set tag exact <coughs> set exact that means uh, it will search for the full text not the partial text and yeah that's it so this particular thing is there for most of the get by okay so you can pass it here like uh yeah here i can say like new page dot get by text options and there we have have like few methods like set exact and we have a lot of methods in the set role but others are very easy you can explore by yourself so that's it very thing okay so apart from this we have also two other functions for example one is the uh, set get by test id test by id in the sense like if you see few of the website where we'll have something like data dash test id which is used internally for the testing probably you can use that and there is also another way of to set the value so if you go to the documentation and if i go to get by test text test id so here you can see like we have another option like selected or set attribute which will basically uh, re, uh, override the function so for example if i use like page dot get by Test study which will go and select this particular locator but in my case there will be something like app dash test study then i can use the set test id attribute and i can use that okay maybe i will give a demo about that uh, in some another video and also we have something like get by title title in the sense like not the page title it's basically based on the uh, like here you can see button then we have title and some text so you can use that one to handle that one okay so yeah so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply uh, these are like very new and very easier if you don't know much about the xpath you can use this but in playwright apart from xpath css there are few others playwright selectors engines are there you will talk about that in the next video Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Take care.